Los Galos. Did I say that right, Terry? Los Gatos. Los it means the cat. Oh. Uh, okay. And uh, this is Terry Wilson. Terry Wilson is the former historian of the EAA. Probably former, former the last board director too. Former, okay. Former, and, secret, uh, former secretary of the San Jose chapter and former vice president of the Silicon Valley chapter. <laughs> oh, very good. I was very active, a hyperactive member, you might say. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell us, uh, you've got a collection. Yes, I do. Yeah, I have tell the, us about that collection. I have a, a collection. It's the uh, uh, history of electric vehicles starting in the uh, early 1900s. I actually have some gauges off electric vehicles from uh, the, the first dates on them were 1887 or something like that. Um, they, they had amp and uh, voltmeters that kind of faced each other so as you're driving along mm -hmm. you could watch the gauges change. Mm -hmm. I have uh, actual pages out of magazines that were advertising back in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. I have components, one of which is one of the first electronic controllers built by an EAA member. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have the history of our club, uh, a lot of the documentation on that. And so that's kind of what I was doing with that. And I still have the collection at my house. It takes up part of the garage and one whole bedroom. Right, right. Good. And, and you mentioned you're getting ready to go to Stanford. Yes, Stanford would like our historical collection. Mm -hmm. So I had talked to a couple professors at the Green Library at Stanford. Mm -hmm. And uh, two of the members had already, it's, uh, including the, the uh, co-founder co of the EAA had started a collection there at Stanford with some of the material. But uh, I've got a book collection that's uh, approximately 50 books with the autographs of the authors. These are our electric vehicle books. And um, uh, well that's actually how I made my own electric sidecar motorcycle. I had the book so uh, I just copied them. You know the wiring was easy enough to do because it was all there in the books for me so it made it real easy. Yeah. So Great. I would like to get that up to Stanford, and I'm having mm -hmm. a little bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, but you're going to pursue that. I, I'm, I'm going to go up to Stanford, and if I have to, I'll take uh, my station wagon, and I'll deliver one load at a time. I'll take a lot of trips that way, but yeah. I may but now, have to You that. mentioned something about Stanford is interested in the, in the collection. Absolutely. Well, they already have, from those two other members, they already have some. Okay. One was our co-founder, and the other one was... Uh, past president of the AA and they had uh -huh. donated some of their stuff. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting when you get a chance to let us know what Stanford's going to do or what their present facilities are and how one would go about looking at it. Yes. I'm, I have no idea. I, I was told that the library doesn't exist anymore, but I, I just don't. That doesn't make sense sure. to me. Sure. So I'm sure it's still there. Well, anything you'd like to say to uh, EVC members on the East Coast? Well, I, I hope that uh, when, when I got on the board in, in 2000 with my other co-members, we wanted to, one of the things we really wanted to do is to include people from back east. We constantly had heard, you know, people back east not getting magazines, not mm -hmm. getting to vote, not, mm -hmm. not knowing what was going on, not being part of it. So that was a really important part. So Jerry Asher and I set up the all chapters meetings, which I considered quite successful. Um, we had them uh, in Canada and Austin. Texas and, and Washington DC and uh, the same people would always come back every year and more people would join in so uh, the people did like that we were able to get board members finally in other states mm -hmm. that hadn't been pursued either so um, you know I, I, I haven't been in the organization for a couple of years due to health problems um, anybody wants to learn about how not to run for the board look at the statements of people who ran for the board saying things like I like trees, and I built an electric car, and I went to this school. Um, mine reads a little differently. It's probably in the 1990s uh, statements, and I went after the board with an axe. Uh -huh. It's very specific about these items that we wanted to do. So I put together a team of four, and, and we were successful for a while. But Okay, well, Terry Wilson from, and, and I can't pronounce the name of your town. Cupertino. Apple Computer Headquarters is right down the street from me.